Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be doing a quick mastering on this track and I've decided to use all the free plugins that you can get with Logic and some that you can get online absolutely free. Let's dive right in. So when I'm doing mastering, the first thing I go for is obviously listen to the track that you are mastering. But on this occasion, I've listened to the track. So next thing I go for is a limiter. I know a lot of people, when they want to master, you just put an EQ compressor and whatnot. But it's always the best practice to start with a limiter first. So now that I've put a limiter, I'll drag it down to give myself some headroom. I'll leave about five or six slots on top of the limiter just so if I want to put any other thing I can put it on top. The next thing is you need to play the loudest part of your track. Look for the loudest part. For instance let's assume here is the loudest part of this track. <laughs> As you can see, it's speaking minus 3.4. If I throw in a multimeter here, I'll play that again. According to this meter, the RMS is still minus 17. So to get me to minus 9, I need to increase the volume to get myself that minus 9 or so on the RMS. Let's increase this to 8 and then play the sound again. So I've got to minus 12.2 or 0.5 ish. You can see we're still getting just 2 dB reduction, so that's fine. We are still not getting much reduction, so I can actually push this to 10 dB again. Now we're hitting about 10.6 RMS, but I can notice here it's going 3 point something. That's fine for now, because I'm not hearing any audible distortion. Now, in order to get ourselves to that minus 9 RMS, I will put in another limiter. Instead of using same one to get all the level and then slam all your tracks, I put in another one. Now on this one, I give minus 1 on the ceiling. Just so when it gets converted for streaming and whatnot, it won't clip. This is how you should start your mastering. Set your levels first. So now you know what you are EQing or compressing. On this occasion now, obviously the limiter is compressing the signal already. I haven't listened to the track. There is no much dynamic range on it anyway. So it's just about fine. Now the first thing I'll go for this track is a bit of saturation which can actually give me more loudness. And uh, I like something like the IVG from Clagem or Saturation Knob from Softube. It's all free saturation plugin. On this one, I'll go for Saturation Knob. Put the type to keep low because when your track distorts the low end, distorts quicker. So just 1%. <laughs> Now I can actually go and back this off because we're not gaining the level through this saturation. Obviously not all track needs saturation. If you feel like the track you are mastering has got enough saturation or whatnot going on already, just leave your limiter to the level you've set it. Now the next thing is an EQ. On this occasion, I'll go for the linear phase EQ. Now I'll filter the low, but 30 Hz is fine. I'm just gonna use a high shelf 
about 0.8 or so. Remember this 0.8, it might not look much, but if you zoom this in, you see it, and it's actually sort of taming that high end. The next thing I noticed is with such track, you could do with a bit more low end. So I can use a shelf to put a DB there. And also here, there's some build up of energy around this 200, 300 range. So I'll notch that by just minus 0 0.5. So remember during mastering, you don't need to move too much. It's not like you'll be boosting or cutting 4 dBs and 5 dBs like you are mixing. It's all small moves. If you need to do much move, 10, 6, 4 dBs, then you're better off going back to the mix. Otherwise, you change the level totally. Watch the dark. Obviously, if you need more thing, then you can add it with the slots that you've given yourself. Some track might need a bit of uh, stereo imaging. There's some nice free stereo image from Isotope, but on this track, because it's a hip hop, it's a kind of song you don't want it too wide. I'll just uh, leave the limiters so the level boost doesn't confuse you. I just turn off the EQ and the saturation. Every time I bless the apparatus, I'm ready. Keep it real in this rap game. Yeah. Rzucam epkę pomiędzy w twoje ręce, łagam tłusty bita gardem tłusto i to jest właśnie rap. I don't know if you notice any difference there, but yeah, it does make a difference. Like I said at the beginning, my strain is all small moves. You don't want to change the track completely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye now. Send